discuss the uses of agility. A nuclear blast and the subsequent fallout will have many adverse effects on life as we know it. Intensive prolonged radiation exposure may transform those above ground into decrepit, rotting beings that have lost their ability to reason. They will likely be without common manners and quick to anger. You must learn to make the most of available firearms, but enthusiasm will only take you so far. Now let's try that again. And remember that with your impressive agility, you can act more decisively in VATS. See? It's a snap. Agility can also help you out in difficult moments. But why place yourself under undue stress? Instead, try a subtler route. Taking the quieter approach is always worth consideration. Your agility can turn a sneak attack into a complete tactical move. Keep in mind, others may have the same bright idea. Your agility will help you move through the wasteland with ease and yield other benefits like assaulting an unsuspecting dreamer for the in, in hastily reloading your firearms by piling on damage to additional targets when the regularly study your vault tech provided materials to prepare for survival. And to answer the question, do you know what makes you special? Express is accessible through the Luca World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change. For the window. Luca World, Luca Express, and the Luca Cola characters are all registered by the Luca Cola Corporation. Express is accessible through the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Corporation.
Express is accessible through the Luca World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change. at the barricades. How many hits you rack up? Six last Raider attack. Folks bought me so many drinks. Well, I don't even remember Another one of you merch looking for me. That's taking one for the, the neighborhood, room. sister. <laughs> hey there. Huh? Don't have no handouts. Hey, sister, how are you? How's your skill? Step through the gate. Right. You got balls. Hey, I had some hang-ups the first time I did. But <coughs> I don't know. Hey, ever Cause... been to Kill to Be Killed? Some fine-looking weapons. Yeah, here's hoping, huh? But if you're searching for something. Excuse me. Better keep your iron strapped on. Grab the advice. Stay free, man. Oi, we got beer. You ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. She must have been crazy, child, to get a cock like that. Yeah. Right on the street. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This guy wants a word! Charlie. Paying customers only. Who's the singer? That is Magnolia. Flower What's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you and didn't you like the song. Her other than that, is her business. Now, you're gonna order? Just browsing for now. Bottles meant for drinking, not looking. Excuse me, miss. Why, hello. Did you like the song? I just wanted to talk to you. Ugh, that's the worst pickup line I've ever heard. You're embarrassing me. Hmm. Well, I thought that's what we were doing. Now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Hmm, I think I know a fellow performer when I see one. You're good with your words. Know just the right thing to say at the right time. So what brings a man like you to my part of town? What do you think? We're all trying to forget something, are we? I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. You, me, an evening walk under the streetlights. And then what? I wouldn't mind hearing a different song. All right. I can try another tune for you. What'll it be? Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Corporation. Yes. Yeah. Sweet Pip Boy, brother. You hold on to that. Ah, I need a place to stay. Try Hotel Rexford. Heard you were in a shootout the other day. I can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track you down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Uh, should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. Why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. 
The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Hey there. Get out of my face. Look, pal. If you're preaching about the atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. Maybe. Why don't you tell me who those guys were first? A couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised, though. It's how it goes when you run with the gunners. Never heard of the gunners. Who are they? They're one of the biggest gangs in the Commonwealth. Got a rep for being crazy. You know, so tightly wound, you think they were a cult or something? Stuck with them for a while because the money was good, but it never fit in. That's why I made a clean break and started flying solo. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? Are you always this suspicious? Hey, you approached me. And frankly, I'm taking a huge risk being out here in the Commonwealth in the first place. So I'm not about to leave anything in chance. Which brings me back to my original question. Can I trust you? Hold on. What kind of risk are you talking about? I already told you way too much. I need to learn to keep my big mouth shut. Look, I'm tired of playing 20 questions. So I'll cut you a deal right now. 250 caps. Up front. And there's no room for bargaining. What do you say? Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? You drive a hard bargain. But you just bought yourself an extra gun. All right, boss. Let's get out of here. Excuse me. Ready to head back out? That depends. How are you feeling? I don't know. Feeling kind of useless sitting here with me thumb up me arse. So, are you ready to get this show on the road? Ready. Good. Then let's get moving. Magnolia. Hello again. Something I can do for you? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? I just need to talk to her. Hmm. Why are you looking for her, honey? Her family's worried that something's happened to her. Well, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seems like a body that could use looking after. Please, tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but... Imogene, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that... 
preacher fella came from? Hmm. Brother Thomas. Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, he kept one of them, just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Hey, Magnolia. You again. It's my lucky day. What do you need? What's your story? How'd you end up singing here? Oh, I flew into town like any songbird does, on a heavy wind with a wounded wing. Mm, well, this place has a stage I needed to sing, and Whitechapel Charlie needed customers, so here we are. Was there anything else? Whitechapel Charlie's been here a long time, I take it? Well, he never talks too much about his past. <laughs> Neither do I, really. I guess that's why we get along. You should get to know him, though. Order a drink first. He always wants to talk business after someone's had a few. And was that all? You need anything else? Come on. Tell me the whole story. Who were you before all this? You really want to know? It's all in the songs. Everything I am. Now, can I help you with anything else? I wouldn't mind hearing a different song. The audience is always right. Hiya, kids. Remember, Yucca World is only open for a few more weeks in October. Come down and see me and Kathy one last time before buckling down for the winter. Don't forget to bring your empty bottle of Yucca Cola to get $15 off at the gate. So, hop aboard! Hey, Charlie. You're becoming quite a regular. Well, the beer still tastes the same. To go on. Like shit. Out in the fence. The third rail. Is this your place? What? Ah, God. By Sandcox. Oh, Charlie just keeps the floor clean. The drink's dirty. <laughs> so, you buying a what? So, Hancock's the owner? That's right. Owner and mayor of this whole bloody town. Trust me, never get on his bad side. Stay clear of his bodyguard. So watch your poison. Hancock has a bodyguard? Yeah. A redhead with a condescending stare. Trust me, Gov, something about her ain't right. Not that I'd ever admit saying that. I'm trying to sell drinks here. You in? What's the word around town? Well, they say there's a newcomer around here who doesn't understand that I'm a bartender, not a damn news pop. Now, are you gonna drink? I've got a few minutes to browse. Don't have more than you can handle. Now that you're lit it up, I've got a proposition for you. I need a dirty boy to do some dirty, dirty work. Blood on the pavement, bodies in the ground, that kind of thing. Interesting. I want to hear the details first. I got a certain anonymous client who's paying top dollar for a clean-up job. Three locations. Everyone inside. No witnesses. Only catch, it's all in town. The old warehouses, so I can't use my regulars. Too noticeable. That's where you come in. The job's 200 caps. Payment after it's done. Don't worry. I'll know what it is. I'll meet you in the mail. You can 
I don't do work unless I know who's paying the bills. All right, Gav. Like it's a big secret who I represent. Mayor Hancock is fronting the caps. Internal political struggle. You know how it is. Look, it's nothing you need to be concerned about. Just clear out the warehouses and get paid. Simple. Three locations? That's a lot of time. A lot of bullets. Well, I guess we can sweeten the pot a bit. Two fifty. Too low. Barely covers the risks. All right, Dov. Three hundred. I'll get it done. <laughs> you better. Now go out there and bust some heads. Hey, Rufus. Hold up. I want to hear this song. You been to Diamond City? Good noodles. Bunch of assholes, though. Hey. What? Got a staring problem. Wear your guts around my neck!
price is subject to change due to the wind of season. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Corporation. Nuka Express is accessible through the Nuka World Trade Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change due to the wind of the season. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered. <coughs> Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. Do you ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I don't have time for this. You should make time for something this important, neighbor. Something that could change your life, and maybe the whole commonwealth. We call ourselves the pillars of the community. We're a pretty new movement, so you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth, and you can be part of this exciting future. Step right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. I'm looking for Emma Jean Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emma Jean is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Uh, her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> she's not seeing anybody until she cools off. Maybe 500 caps will help make her available? Why the hell are you paying this idiot off? Well, that's different. The truth is, we had a little, uh, disagreement about her joining the movement. She got kind of violent. So I locked her in there until I could figure out what to do with her. For 500 caps, I'm happy to make her your problem. Here, let me unlock the door for you. Uh, I've got to warn you. She's way stronger than she looks. It took all of us combined to even get her locked up in there. Think tonight's show is sold out. She's all yours, neighbor. Hiya, kids. Remember, Yucca World is only open for a few more weeks in October. Come down to see me and Kathy one last time before buckling down for the winter. Don't forget to bring your empty bottle of Yucca Cola and get $15 off at the gate. You must be Imogene. So Don't tell me. Jack sent you. And come and see the whole Nuka family while you still can. You're Jack's sister? I was expecting someone a bit... younger. You really know how to flatter a lady, don't you? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. 
Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It's more like it halts aging. I started taking it when I was 32, so normally that's what I look like. You'll see once I get my treatment. I was well known as one of the bells of Boston society, back when there was any. What happens if you don't get more serum? Oh, I don't think we need to worry about that. I've gone without a treatment much longer before with no lasting effect. Actually, there's only one vial of the serum left. Raider's got the rest. I'd better get home before Mother convinces Jack that she needs all of it. That he could still be such a mama's boy at his age is ridiculous. I'm so disappointed in Thomas. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Need anything before we go? No. I didn't bring anything worth taking with me. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Hi. I'll never hear the end of this for Mother. The Nuka Express is accessible through the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking rules will apply. Price is subject to change. Try again. I think it's clearing up. Edward, switch to single sideband modulating. Can you hear me? There might be some valuable stuff inside. Oh my Edward, God, switch let's over go check to it the out. Hartley modulator. Do you copy? Gee, now. How's this? Oh, that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders that... For God's sake, Sammy. The doorway, right there. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get... Hello? Edward? Come in! Edward! Ah! There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. I don't need anything right now, thank you. What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. 
It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. I found Emma Jean. She's fine. Oh, yes. Good. At least one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here. I hope that's the right amount. Now, we really need to focus on the current emergency. How can you be so callous about your sister's safety? I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. What exactly does this serum do? I suppose it's time you knew. The main benefit of the serum is to halt aging. My family and I are all over 400 years old. But it also confers other side effects, especially in the undiluted form that the Raiders stole. It increases strength and resistance to all kinds of physical damage. So at least some of these Raiders may be much more dangerous than the ones you're used to dealing with. Where do you get this serum from? My father, Lorenzo Cabot, is confined in Parsons. He became dangerously unstable after handling an artifact he found on an archaeological dig in Arabia. He gained various seemingly paranormal powers, as well as becoming increasingly irrational and violent. In the end, I had no choice but to confine him, for his own safety, as well as ours. Jack! Are you sure it's wise telling him all this? In the course of my attempts to cure him, I discovered that the artifact had introduced uh, anomalies into his blood. So the source of his insanity is also the basis of the treatments that have prolonged all our lives. The irony isn't lost on me, but if he were to escape from Parsons, I would lose my father forever. I will not allow that to happen. Not to mention that the artifact has made him paranoid homicidally violent, and endowed with extraordinary abilities. Exactly what abilities does he have? Uh, enhanced strength, unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. Oh, and a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. That's why I've built a dampening field into his cell. Which is why we really need to stop these intruders before they turn it off. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Why is that so important? If these intruders have gotten past Edward's men, they may have freed Lorenzo. I'm the only one who understands exactly how to deal with him. Is that clear enough for you? I'm not that great at taking orders. Then it's time to learn, or neither one of us is likely to leave Parsons alive. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do, but you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Express is accessible through the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change due to end of season. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Corporation.
Yeah. Express is accessible through the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change due to wind of season. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks. Express is accessible through the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change due to end of season. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Corporation. Express is accessible through the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change due to end of season. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Corporation. Express is accessible through the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change due to end of season. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Corporation.
Nuka Express is accessible through the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change due to end of season. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Corporation. Express is accessible through the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change due to end of season. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Corporation. Express and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Corporation. Yeah. The Nuka Express is accessible through the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change due to end of season. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Corporation. Edward's men seem to have given a good account of themselves, but not good enough, sadly. We need to get to my office. From there, we can see how bad things really are. Okay, stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go. Ammo, caps, whatever you find, don't forget to share.
bottle of Coca-Cola and get $15 off at the gate. Protect and serve. And come and see the whole Nuka family for you still care. Nuka Express is accessible through the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Parking is subject to change due to window seat. Nuka World Express. Coca-Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Corporation. May as well take a look. Come down and see me and Kathy one last time. Warning, union violation detected. Last recorded break was 9,999 hours ago. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change due to end of season. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all ready.
Want some help with that? Hiya, kids. Remember, you can warn is only open for a few more weeks in October. Come down and see me and catch you one last hey. time. What you need? Think you can unlock that? I'm out of bobby pins. Have any on you? Hey. Hmm? Sure. Be glad to take... I... I mean, hold some stuff for you.
applicable to the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change through the window seat. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Corporation. Express is accessible through the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change through the window seat. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Hey. Sure, sure. Just keep your shirt See what on. what you can do. I'm on it, Captain. Oh, yeah. I love that click. Locks open. Heads up. Point out what you need. Grab anything I'm useful. Check it out. Will do. Warmed up. Come down and see me and Kathy one last time before buckling down for the winter. Don't forget to bring your empty bottle of Nuka Cola to get $15 off at the gate. So hop aboard the Nuka Express and come and see the whole Nuka family while you still can. The Nuka Express is the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Did someone drive a bulldozer through here?
Heads up. Need something? Go check that out. Nope. Check it out. Sorry, can't. Excellent. What you reading there? I'm gonna be jumping at the goddamn shadows next.
gonna rip your limbs off. Scrape the mud off my boots.
stay free, man. Nice pip boy. You'd kill to get that, huh? Hey, you. Looking for work? What kind of work? It's good work. Under the supervision of the best boss you'll ever have. If you don't mind a little manual labor, and don't ask too many questions, you're in. I'll give you 50 caps to start. Interested? You can do better than that. Fine. Take a hundred up front. I'm in. That's what I like to hear. Let's go inside. I'll give you the lowdown. Ready to get to work? Are you gonna tell me what we're actually doing? Look, we're pulling a job here. Big payoff. Taking some things that aren't technically ours yet. That's just asking for trouble. It's not gonna be easy. But that's why we only hire the best sword around here. You are going to be doing some digging. What are we digging for? Buried treasure? You could call it that. But seriously, lay off the questions. The other two are down there digging already. Go give them a hand, will you? Yes?
Making me feel like crap.
system dead. Welcome back. Uh... I'm just so hungry all the time. What do you need, General? You got a second. I got something I want to say to you. Is it important? Yeah, I'd say it is. Got a lot to do with our little partnership. What do you think? Go on. I'm not sure how to put this. We've been on the road together for a while. And we've taken some hard knocks. But through all that crap, I noticed you've always been sticking by me. 
You know, watching me back and making sure I don't do anything stupid. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There's no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. If it makes you feel better, I guess I have nothing better to do. Quit pretending you don't care. That shite might work with your other friends, but it won't work with me. It all starts with two wastes of humanity I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced I was a mistake, because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if it was just the tiniest bit, because they never kicked me out. Then me 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around me neck and sold me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. Eighteen years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. Why didn't you run away? I tried. Twice. The first time I did it, they locked me in a shed outside of the house we lived in. The second time. They broke one of my legs. My god. I'm so sorry. Thanks. But there is more to the story. It would be easy to blame me charming personality on me parents. But they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of my goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they use me for their amusement. It sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing a few caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. As long as you don't get greedy. I don't know how you survived. That makes two of us. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy me own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You can imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. How could you kill your own parents? How can you call them parents? They were opportunists who were taking advantage of a human being, just to make a few caps. If I'd come out of that bitch of a mother deformed, they would have drowned me in the river and started again. They didn't give a shite about me. So I didn't give a shite about them. End of story. That's murder. Was it murder? Or was it justice? When I close me eyes, all I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl. I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate. Stripped bare for your perusal. Disappointed in you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this, but I don't regret my decision. You deserve to know who I am. I'm always here for you, Kate. There's nothing you can say that would ever change that. Oh, uh, I, well, that's, that's not what I expected you to say. Sorry, I didn't realize you cared that much about me. And here I thought I was being stupid, bothering you with me problems. It feels good to know if I need you, you'll be there for me. And I'll always be there for you too.
Why bother with that? You open in a museum or something? Are you kidding me? It stinks in here. Disgusting. Smells like the bathroom after Salisbury steak night. You got a second. I got something I want to say to you. Hey. Yeah? <clears throat> well, there's a smell I'm never gonna forget. Ugh. Ugh, are you kidding me? It stinks in here. Hey. Sure. You have time to talk now. Still have something important to say. Is it important? Yeah, I'd say it is. Got a lot to do with our little partnership. What do you think? Go on. I'm not sure how to put this. We've been on the road together for a while. And we've taken some hard knocks. But through all that crap, I notice you've always been sticking by me. You know, watching me back and making sure I don't do anything stupid. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There's no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. Didn't we already go through this? 
You don't owe me a thing. It all starts with two waves of humanity I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced I was a mistake, because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if it was just the tiniest bit, because they never kicked me out. Then my 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around my neck and sold me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. Eighteen years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. Why didn't you run away? I tried. Twice. The first time I did it, they locked me in a shed outside of the house we lived in. The second time, they broke one of my legs. My god. I'm so sorry. Thanks. But there's more to the story. It would be easy to blame me charming personality on me parents. But they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of me goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they use me for their amusement. It sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing a few caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. As long as you don't get greedy. I don't know how you survived. That makes two of us. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy me own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You can imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. That's murder. Was it murder? Or was it justice? When I close me eyes, all I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl. I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate. Stripped bare for your perusal. I'm proud of you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this. But I never expected you to say you were proud of me. I... I, I think I needed to hear that from you. Thank you. Hey, it's okay. We're friends. Look at me. Now you have me blushing. Well, that settles it, I suppose. Friends it is, then. Hope I make you a good one. Otherwise, I'm gonna look right the fool, aren't I? Disgusting. Smells like the bathroom after... Salbury steak night. <laughs> the hell is that awful stench? Disgusting. Smells like the bathroom after Salbury steak night.
Powering up. Protectron on duty.
security's too good. No way I'm cracking this. Won't be able to hack this. Hacking this is beyond me. Hey. Need something? Security's too tight. Over here. Will do. Go check that out. Check it out. Nope. Take a look. Sorry. Can't. Over. Go check. Take. Over. Go check. Take a look. Mm -mm. Can't. Jumping off of that was pretty stupid if you ask me.
The door is blocked from the other side somehow. I don't we'll like admitting it. If you think this is bad, you should see some of the blokes I beat up at the combat zone. I can't believe this is going to be worth the trouble. Look at this place. Nothing but dust and junk. Oh, it's going to be Wait, burn this. listen. If lefties right Get ready. This, this being where that new juice is coming from, hell yeah, it's going to be worth it. How'd you get any of it anyway? Lefty doesn't even like you. Warmed up. Only a fucking coward hides. No sign of him now. How'd you get in here? <laughs> Something's ghosting us. <laughs> When you turn up, you're dead. No sign of him now. What the fuck? Oh, it's on! What is it? This is my favorite part of the job.
Edward, how badly are you hurt? I'm not dead yet, but I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I... I sent the elevator down to the basement like you wanted. And shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. Yeah. <sighs> Haven't seen anybody for quite a while. I think. It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could Someone really use your help. Place, eh? Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. You okay? They don't worry about me. They definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. I don't think we were done. Don't leave anything behind that might be useful. Can't pick this. Don't think we were done. Let's get on with it. Just, Just follow my instructions time. and everything will be fine. Be careful, Jack. You too. Crap, crap, nothing but crap.
hearing sure shit. I heard <laughs> I'm not going any further until you tell me what's going on. I suppose it's time you knew. It's hard to overstate exactly how dangerous the artifact has made Lorenzo. 